Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you guys a big, big remodeling that we did in the laundry. If you've been following us for a while, you know that I've talked about this laundry for so long and it took us a little while because my husband was working on it only on the weekends and in the afternoons whenever he had uh, time. That's why it took us so long. But finally, we are done. And if you guys can see a big, big change on color of the door. So if you are interested on seeing how we did this big, big remodeling, keep watching, subscribe if you're not part of the family, hit the like button to show me that you guys do enjoy this type of content. And if you know that it, uh, your family members or your friends enjoy this type of content, share the video with all of them. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. Before we get started, guys, I want to share with you guys the before of the laundry. I had a lot of mess everywhere. There was no um, organization system whatsoever. This was the only area where I had kind of like a countertop where I had my uh, detergent and all that stuff. But if, as you guys can tell, there is literally no organization at all. And I even had a few um, decorations out on the on the floor. Uh, we had to take everything out of the laundry so that way we can start with the blank canvas and see what we had to do. It took us so long to finish the this project but like I said at the beginning my husband was working on it uh, on the weekends but other than that we weren't able to like work on the laundry for like a full day other than the weekends and obviously we literally did a big big transformation and, and you guys will see at the end I am really really proud of my husband that he was able to accomplish this I did help him here and there but he was the person that did the whole thing in here like i am so proud of him um and thank you thank you thank you so much baby for always uh doing what i ask you to do trust me guys this project was taking us a little bit longer because i wasn't sure of what i wanted and we did a, a few changes here and there but you guys will see and obviously the first thing that he had to do was taking a, that hideous um counter space that we had on the top and i just hated that that was like the only spot where i was able to put things but the kids weren't able to reach out to the um, detergent, especially Ivan. He's uh, the small one, and he was never able to uh, reach up in there. So there was a lot of mess all the time. And I kind of enjoy this part when he was taking this down because I do enjoy the demolition part. I just feel that it is so satisfying when you demo the things um and we try to save this part because i wanted to reuse it and uh, that's why he was like so careful to take that thing down but at the end of the day he said that we weren't probably be able to like reuse it but we'll see i still have that part on the um side of the house so hopefully we are able to use it in a, another project if not well then it's just gonna go to trash and i just love to reuse or repurposed uh things because you know we are on a budget and it's always good to save some money and that's what we did in here we uh spend less than five hundred dollars roughly five hundred dollars so we did took a few runs um to a few stores here we are at lowe's trying to find the perfect tile it was a little hard um making a decision just because we know that we are doing it ourselves and that was another plus that we didn't have to pay no one or we didn't hire anyone to do this but at the end of the day we did went with the porcelain tile i was in love with that one but as you guys can see in here we were like looking and uh, making decisions now the spacers or for the tile that we use was a five millimeters and then we use some of the motor and we went with the white color for like the grout another purchase that we did was the light fixture i what hated this light fixture so much and i found this one at costco and i love it so much it was just the perfect light fixture because i am going with the uh contemporary modern theme and i just love how white and clean lines it has so pretty much this was like the 
purpose of the whole remodeling on the laundry this was like my staple i knew when i saw this light that i wanted to go of more of like with a modern theme i love glam and modern but i at the end you guys will see in here if i did add some glam or not but i love the modern feel of this life fixture and it was so simple to uh put in it was just a few screws as you guys can see and it was just attaching so it wasn't even hard to install and as you guys can see how clean and even the light i know that the light it's playing around with me in here um with the camera but it is just perfect now the next part was to take the vinyl away but then uh one of my husband's friend told him that he really didn't need to take the vinyl away because uh it's actually going to work as a barrier in case we have any um leaks of water especially because we have the laundry upstairs uh but we end up taking a, a little bit away from it because there were bumps in between in here as you guys can see so that was a bummer he had to take a few spots in here because again there was just so many bumps on that area and then he was ready to put in the cement boards now the cement boards have the marks where he needs to put the screws and you guys can see um there is two cement boards in there but he had to cut a few pieces because it wasn't long enough and just to make sure that we had uh, all the areas covered with it since it is upstairs we needed to put the cement boards um, if it was concrete it wouldn't be a different story now the other thing that he did was making the hole um, for the water in case there's any leak on the washer and after that we were so ready to put the tile but we had to remove the door and so we were able to paint it. You guys saw at the beginning that we did paint the door black. Now he did use some tape to attach the joints of the cement. And then on top of the tape, he used a uh, motor, which this motor, he is also going to use it to put the tiles. Now we are not professionals whatsoever. We did put the tile downstairs throughout the whole house. And so he has a little bit of experience in the house, but out of the house, we really don't have any experience. And he took a few advices from one of his friends that he actually is experienced on putting tile. That is his job. So that was uh, so nice of him to give him a few tips here and there, but I'm just so grateful that my husband was able to do all this um, pretty much by himself. Uh, we did help here and there. The kids also help him and um, we were just so happy. Now, all the materials that he has, we've been collecting those throughout the year. So we uh, saved all that money and that's one of the other savings in here. So um we didn't have to spend on any of those machines or anything. Probably we did invest in another uh, tool to cut this tiles a little, a little bit more faster, which it was only $29, but that was just a small investment. And after putting the motor on the joints and let it dry overnight, he did let it dry overnight and it, we were ready to put the tiles. This was like my favorite part because I knew that once the tile was in place, everything else was going to go more smooth. And yeah, so we or he put in the tiles again. We did help him, you know, assisting him, giving him everything um, near him and stuff like that. And you guys can see in here the difference uh, between the tile that it's against the wall and then the second one. He had to cut the tile against the wall because his guideline was the one, the second one uh, near him. Here is when, where we found a lot of mistakes from the companies that they build the houses. There were a lot, a lot of mistakes. Like nothing was straight, nothing was label. We had to, or he had to make a lot of cuts uh, to make it more straight. Fix all those little details that they left um, when we were putting the tile. And even on the walls, uh, we did make a few changes throughout the full process and it's where he found more mistakes on the walls on the floor on the end so it was kind of a little 
hassle trying to work with all the mistakes that they've made you know we he had to make some cuts and some grinding and stuff like that but at the end of the day it was worth it because i feel that if we were to hire someone it would have been more expensive so that was a plus he was able to do it all by himself now after he was done with the tile we had it to let it uh sit overnight we did wait two days again just because he wasn't able to work um right away but it was good because it, we knew that it was you know everything was attached and then it was time for the grout i went with a white grout i was thinking on going with black grout at the beginning but i kind of wanted it the white grout to make it more shiny and especially because it's porcelain and oh my god i'm just so in love with this tile more clean and bright and it even shines when the light hits it now after that it, he made a hole onto the uh, drain pan uh, to put the washer he had a little trouble making this hole but um he did use a oscillating multi-tool which that was a big big plus now if you don't have this tool you can also use like a um, knife um if you don't have this one but if you do it it's a little bit more faster with that one so he did make the hole to being able to attach the drain fixture and then after that we started putting the baseboard now we really didn't have to spend money on baseboard because this baseboard we had extra from the baseboard we used downstairs when we switched the tile yes we did save a lot of material that we had left um from that project and so this was the time to reuse it so that was another savings um that we didn't have to spend on any baseboard because we had this once now he had to make a 45 degree angle cuts to be able to attach it onto the ends and then he also made this cut in here uh because on this area we had the dryer vent so there is like a box in there where it's attaching to it so some of the attachments that goes into the dryer and into the washer they were just in a weird position that he had to make a few cuts in order for it to fit perfectly uh like you guys can see in here that bent box was a little bit more lower closer into the baseboard but again um the previous baseboard that we had it was a little bit more smaller now this one it's a little bit more bigger and that was another reason why we had to make that cut and after that he was ready to put the gasket into the drain box we had to buy a new one because the old one it was just irreplaceable we weren't able to reuse it and now for the counter space that i wanted to add in here we went to lowe's and got a few pieces cut for us they will do it for free if you ask them you don't have to pay anything so that's another savings in case you don't have any tools to like cut your wood that big and now i did add uh two cabinets into the laundry which i was really really happy and then all of this uh, materials that i use i will be linking those below in case you guys want to know what are the things that i did use we sand the counter space that we are going to be adding onto the laundry and i'm going to start painting this cabinets i did went with a white color again i am going with a modern contemporary theme so everything will be white and black and a few touches of wood but i really really wanted this cabinets to be white and i did use the cabinet furniture paint which they recommended that because this cabinets are already sanded i didn't have to do anything other than just clean it and i use the thinner uh, to clean those and just to paint them i did just use a few foam rollers and some foam brushes to do the detailing on the sides but they were really really simple um, cabinets so i really didn't have to do a lot of detail in here and for the counter space at the beginning i wanted to paint them black but then i end up 
leaving them more of like the wood color so we uh, had some wood stain to add into it and I know that that looks like super super fast but you have to be really really careful when you put um, any wood stain so that way they can be like precise and to put that wood stain into that um, piece of wood we had to do three coats which you do one coat and then you wait 24 hours or overnight and then you do another one so it took us a while to have the color that i really really wanted and then after that we were so ready to put the cabinets like you guys can see in here the kids were helping and so everyone was helping a little bit here and there so after we put that we were so ready to put the counter space which in here he is just finding like the studs where he is able to like put the uh, screws so that way we can put the counter space this is like the satisfaction part of me like i painted the baseboards i am really sorry i didn't show you guys when i was painting the baseboard but i did paint the baseboards that is like my favorite part to do painting so he was using a nail gun first to put the little pieces of wood in place and he did use uh two by one inch um wood pieces so that way he was um like able to attach the um counter space and you guys can see in here so here is where i was really really impatient so we did stain this part but i didn't stain the rest so i had to stain this parts when they were in place in here already i was just so impatient i wanted to my laundry room to be done you guys can see in here that i am just prepping the area uh to do the stain and again it was just one coat one day and had it to weigh to do another coat so it took us a while to have that same color and um at least to have the color that i wanted because i really really wanted a wood toned light wood tone color and another idea that i had throughout this process was to add some baseboard around the window there is a little tiny window in here that i don't like the way it looks with the uh, blinds that it had and i'm not going to be putting those blinds back again i'm just going to leave this window like that with no curtain or anything because it's so tiny and i just love the brightness of the space and you guys can see a big big difference when we add in the baseboard and we end up painting those uh, white as well and here is another add-on through the process of the laundry we weren't gonna put no backsplash but somehow i felt like the laundry was missing something and it was a backsplash so we end up going with a white backsplash which at the beginning we were just going to put a floating shelf which we're still going to be putting that floating shelf but somehow with the uh, backsplash it just gives a big big difference into the laundry like i just love the way it looks and i wanted to use black uh, grout but we weren't able to find any black grout so we end up using uh a charcoal color which it's still really dark and it does look black once you'll see the uh, final result you'll see the difference but um, it does make a big big difference this backsplash and from here now guys i want to let you guys know that this is part one of the big remodeling that we end up doing we are going to be sharing with you the next video with all the final touches and the decor so in case if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel so you can see the final result thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end i hope that you enjoy part one and i will see you in the next video bye